Hello and welcome to Racing for the Climate and the second round of the RCCO World EX Championship. Now, World EX is the only place that you can see 22 of the best esport and professional racing drivers go head to head in one of the most intense versions of virtual racing. In addition to some of the world's greatest esports racing, the focus of World EX is climate change. And while well, everyone can help out, so make sure you check us out online to see more information about our fight against climate change and how you can actually contribute to our GoFundMe jackpot that will then be donated to a climate change charity by our champion driver at the end of this series. Now onto the cars that you're going to be seeing on track today. The EX0, the first electric car specifically developed for esports racing. It goes from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in just 2.3 seconds, it truly is a remarkable car to race for all of our drivers. Let's break down how our drivers get from qualifying all the way to becoming today's race champion. World EX is an exciting racing format featuring 22 drivers that compete across six levels of intense virtual racing, all hoping to claim the coveted title of World EX champion. An action-packed day at Sebring began with the qualifying round, where all drivers go head-to-head -head in a one-lap race, all competing for a spot in the next round. The losers of qualifying had another chance to claim a spot in the quarterfinals with a real fight at Sebring International Circuit in the last chance race, with Williams Esports' Bruno Senna narrowly sneaking through and Britain's wildcard racer Henry Drury finishing first. Let's go! On to level three, the first quarter-final. It saw a multi-car crash. That's a good start. After staying clear of the chaos, Denmark's Lasse Sorensen of TK9 E-Speed led and didn't look back, with Henry Drury unexpectedly making it into the next round. Wait, really? Quarter-final two saw Alan Terzik of BS Plus Competition setting the pace up front, taking the top spot and sailing into the semis. Absolute Racing's Mickey Hoyer also qualified despite spinning off the track early on. Oh, oh that's close. Level 4. The semi finals each had six racers battling it out for a spot in the final. The first of the semi finals began dramatically, with all but one of the drivers involved in a huge pile up on lap one, with Sorensen leaving the rest of the pack in his dust. Alan Terzik also managed to maintain his fast pace with a strong showing in semi-final two, securing his spot in the final. The remaining six drivers then battled it out in the final. Terzik's fine form continued, overtaking Silverstone winner Lasse Sorensen on the very first turn, managing to take an early lead. But with Lasse in his slipstream, the two drivers remained neck and neck, with Terzik just about holding position, both confirming their spot in the Super Final. The Super Final race lived up to the hype, with a nip and tuck one lap showdown. Terzik managed to find the racing line early on, keeping Denmark's Lasse Sorensen at bay. The Dane's pedigree began to shine through as the race ran to a close, pulling off a risky but rewarding maneuver and sneaking past his opponent on the very last turn to take the win. As we say in NASCAR, uh, rubbing is racing, so that was a good <laughs> fair race and, and uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it. It's amazing to be a part of this championship. The winner of the World EX Championship round at Sebring, Lasse Sorensen from TK9 eSpeed. Thank you for joining us and we'll see you next time where World EX will be racing on the Sepang International Circuit in Malaysia. We absolutely cannot wait. See you then.